The vision of East Africa community is a prosperous, competitive, secure, stable and politically geared towards a united East Africa and the mission is to widen and deepen economic, political, social and cultural integration in order to improve the quality of life of the people of East Africa through increased competitiveness, value-added production, trade and investments. With the member states enjoying relative calm on the political scene, that dream might not seem far-fetched. However, what if the member states took it upon themselves in educating their citizens of the benefits that come with regional integration? While a lot will be done by member states to harmonize complex issues like those involving security and taxes, education on the ground will be key in ensuring that the integration process is on course. However, there are a lot of other things that the countries in the region could benefit from each other. For instance, the security of our wildlife. What if the regional countries worked together in ending the poaching menace that seems to have taken a toll heavily on Kenya's wildlife? There have been incidences where poachers have transported game trophies across the region's nations, but that could come to an end if the member states worked in unity. Hey. The recent discovery of minerals as well as oil could not have come at a better time with Kenya set to gain in terms of lessons learned from mining in countries that have been mining for a comparatively longer period like Uganda. Kenya though is not the only country that stands to gain in a fully fledged regional integration. With its constitution ranked among the top most progressive ones in the world, much can be learned from the country. Despite the teething problems that came with devolution, channeling resources to citizens could not only help the region realize a growth in its GDP, but also political stability. Or perhaps all the countries forming ESC membership could adapt the system in Rwanda, where districts come up with development plans and how to implement them, eliminating the over-dependence on the central government. The youth too have a part to play, and some have already been across the borders to seize the opportunities that the host nations provide. With my personal experience in East Africa, I would say Kenya is the America of East Africa <laughs> because everyone wants to come to Kenya to achieve our personal goals. In Kenya, I, I would say to all youth, we, if we want to achieve something, we don't have to stay here. We have to open ourselves to where the opportunities are. So I would say Kenyans use, if they see you cannot achieve your goal here in, in Nairobi, move, go somewhere else. The way it's are open for you. However, the recent commissioning of Bath 19 at Mombasa Port, which was only attended by Presidents Uhuru Kenyatta, Yoweri Museveni of Uganda and Paul Kagame of Rwanda, could raise questions as to whether the dream is still on course.